General Atomic. Please don't sue me, Disney. I swear, it's a, it's a temporary thing. You don't see it half the time. Anyway, here we are in Fallout 4. It's been a couple of days since our last play. Because obviously, last episode, the episode before that, we recorded back to back. So I was away for only really a day. Uh, but the prevailing wisdom were two things. Number one, I can't aim. Yes. Uh, that's because I've set the sensitivity so low now that I am suffering. But hopefully, it will give you less uh, seasickness. Secondly, uh, the beeping last episode was was uh, apparently just unfathomable. It didn't bother me at all. To be fair, it's quite quiet in my headphones. The robot footsteps also didn't bother me. Um, it's, it's not quite uh, quieter than anything else I've got on my PC. Just the same volume level as anything else. But hey, I think this game's audio is all over the place. So apologies for that. But I have pinned a message someone left, um, which says when the beeping stops. What is that over there? Hello? Some sort of settlement near my bloody island. We're going to have a look at that. Or some sort of building. Uh, yes. Uh, lots of people. There, there wasn't a huge amount of uh, wisdom in the sense of uh, join the, uh, uh, you know, go with the railroad. Go with the blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pick and choose depending on what's sensible, of course, for planting mush. The prevailing wisdom was uh, somebody left a legendary comment. Hello? Uh, somebody left a legendary comment saying it took you more time to uh, um, research and test out a funny power generating bike than it did to crack a high tech institute chip. And my god, if that doesn't sum up this game, I don't know what does. I, I saw another comment from someone. When I say someone, I know who left a comment. Um, I've generally got them up on my other monitor as I talk about them. It's just people on the internet are weird. One time I said, oh, this person said this. And then someone went back and argued with them. Very strange. Very strange place on the I was on the main channel, though. So you're all right. Uh, no, none of you lot. You, you're all the nice people over here. Not those damn people on the main channel who are unhinged. Who is that? Hello. What are you walking around the island? Got a dangerous look Provisioner. Hope you ain't here for me. I, I'm not here for you. H welcome to my island. Uh, what was I talking about? Right, yes. Uh, someone else left a comment saying that the this game is basically a two-to-one ratio of faff to gameplay. And I've never agreed more. The pacing in this game is horrendous. Because you have these really fast place shooter settlements undercut by spending 40 minutes offloading all your crap and getting it organized and picking up junk. I've said it since the very beginning. My god, I wish I hadn't th th that they hadn't added this to the game, right? Get help to build the signal interceptor. So our choices are Railroad Minutemen or Brotherhood. Is that it? Is there no, I'll just do it myself option? Fine. No? Uh, I'm just looking around to see where the other map marks are. So it really is just Brotherhood Institute Railroad, huh? Obviously, uh, sorry, not Institute. Uh, um, yeah, Minutemen, you get Sturges to help out, don't you? <sighs> I feel like... Planty could see the benefit to an organization like the railroad. And I'm going to use this term very, very loosely as a kind of underground secret police helping him out. Because Planty Mush is a very high profile fella, right? He was the Silver Shroud for a long time. He was intentionally seeking notoriety to strike fear into the hearts of raiders. Worked wonderfully, right? And as soon as the job was done, we passed the Silver Shroud off to Nick uh, Valentine, who I'm sure was very happy to receive that. But I feel like in this case he can't do he can't fight this entire battle alone. And he is gonna need a little bit of cloak and dagger occasionally. You know, espionage is, is a very key part of war. Assuming, of course, we go to quote war with the Institute. We, we've got to we've got to go to the Institute, find out what they're doing, maybe even give them an ultimatum. Plant isn't isn't the type of guy to shoot first and ask questions later, except for all the times where he was. So I hate to say it, I think we're gonna come to the railroad, because I think if Planty can help. Uh, let's say, um, a hammer in the nails that are sticking out here, you know? Really just kind of tidy things up. Smooth out the edges is probably a nicer metaphor to use. The edges, of course, I mean Desdemona. <laughs> and we'll see about, um, make sure you, need some. Follow you know, just trying to reform this place and, and, and try and make it a little bit more useful. Like a good tool of justice, which they could, which I think they're trying to be. Just weird, you know, morally questionable methods, something? such as destroying the previous lives of individuals. Or people they believe are individuals. There's very, uh, very, a lot of cognitive dissonance going on here. Uh, can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. So that's what the Courser chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? <laughs> it's just shining right what in her eyes. <laughs> Uh, can we turn that off mid-combat? So, I've explained this before, but I'll just say it out loud again. Someone asked in Discord the other, other day, for whatever reason, the Pip-Boy camera in first person is 
broken. As soon as we're done with this, uh, sorry, the Pip-Boy light in first person is broken. What's fine in third person? We'll take off bits of headgear until we figure out what it is, and then I'll see if I can do some tweaking of that at the a table. Response would be appreciated. Yeah, hold on, I'm thinking to myself. Uh, the Institute used teleportation to get in and out. The, te the Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation. That the Institute could build something so... I was going to say she looks but like a deer in headlights, but... She's, she's got literally halfway there. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way uh, possible to get this device built. Listen, I feel like Tinker Tom's a bit of a fucking liability. Like, clearly he's got the skills. It took the man about five seconds to hack into a top secret institute piece of technology that they emphasize for the entire 40 minute segment how uh, delicate and careful it is and how many people they've wasted trying to get them before only for him to do it immediately he's got the skills he's easy like four in 14 intelligence one wisdom whereas planty is like too much traffic through the 16 intelligence two wisdom uh, uh tinker tom it is me general atomic and i need your help for justice Oh, Professor, we're up on the board. Ready to hand nice. over the plans? This is the big one. I haven't even told you what we're doing yet. You were asleep. Uh, here you go. Let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? She must have been a real big kid. Oh, man. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. He really is, oh, like... Eggheads are crazy. He's not like a mirror. He divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. Of Planty Mush. Like a pirate broadcast, you know? He's like a sidestep. That's intense. What, what, what? Planty Mush lacks in charisma. Tinker Tom makes up for it far too much, and he goes kind of full circle back to being, like, a little bit nuts. I knew you could figure it out, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit, <sighs> but they're missing a ton of engineering details. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here... The stabilized reflector platform just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. By the time you finish that, I'll have the rest. Yeah, it's that done. easy. You're losing me, Todd. You're ah, nice work, Tom. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to Carrington, though. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. I have a private island. It should fit over at Mercer's safe house. Pam's already given that place her full blessing. I'll flag some runners. Jesus, word travels the fast there. in the railroad, doesn't it? Guess they why they call it that. Otherwise, they call it the tram. <laughs> That's just terrible, isn't it? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Are we going to go somewhere? They said the most of a safe house, but if you actually set us like a map marker, though. Show on map. Ah, there it is. A Krupp Manor. Oh, that's why they go and have you crack that place open. I understand now. That's why Pam sent you the question. Come out. Oh, Pam's got a thing going on. Yeah, okay. I understand. I understand. Right, let's build ourselves a molecular teleporter. Sorry, I sighed midway through that conversation because I, all I could, I, I could only help but think to myself, if this was Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3, you'd have just fucking built it yourself with a skill check. It would have said, oh, you've got uh, 10 intelligence, build it yourself. Oh God, here we go again. Well, I'm not going to shoot at the Brotherhood, but... Obviously, we're, 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 we're kind of undercover, so to speak, in the Brotherhood right now. My God. I feel like it's all about to kick off soon, isn't it? I feel like we've been in kind of a Cold War up to this point. And this is the, the first real uh, junk destination saved. <laughs> no, I can't say that. Wire this into the same power grid as the beam emitter. Uh, okay, so what we just plow? Build the reflector platform. Talk to Tinker Tom. You made me go through that entire... You made me go through an entire loading screen for that. Wow. Two loading screens for that. <laughs> Man. I, I do want to play Fallout 3 again. Kind of tempted to go into Fallout 3 after this, but I don't want to do Fallout back to back, I don't think. We're all the sense guy. Uh, hello. Uh, you got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm waiting for the good news. I was gone for uh, 12 seconds. That's built. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredients pretty common. But there's three specialty items. We're just MacGyvering together a molecular ourselves. teleporter. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. 
Uh, okay, I'll find them. I don't doubt it for one minute. After you get the gettables, why you be at the bill site? Glad you're with us. In the absolute right. fuck, didn't they just do that before if they're just sending you off to go build more shit anyway? Man, I feel like I'm going insane, you know? I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Here's the thing. I can believe this and the Brotherhood, especially the Brotherhood, over working with the Minutemen where just Sturges is like, yeah, we'll just build a teleporter. What, what like, what, politely, what the fuck has Sturges done? Like, he's, he's patched up some holes in some walls, and now he's like, yeah, we'll build a molecular teleporter, no problem. Artillery piece. Yeah, her name is Desdemona. Um, control console. Is it alright to stick this thing outside? Ah, oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, control console. Molecular beam emitter. We just slap that on there, do we? That's good. Um, relay dish. Aim it in the direction of the Institute, which is like, uh... Is it, is it like over there? Wait, I've kind of forgotten where we are on the map. We're like north... Yeah, kind of northwest, almost. A, oh, no, 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 it's, it's over here, right? CIT ruins. Northwest, west. I know it doesn't matter, okay? I like to uh, try and have some fun with... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm polishing it, you know, so to speak. I'm really po polishing the Bethesda turd. Um, and that's it. Quest complete. Power up the signal intercepts. Okay, sorry, we've got to wire all this crap up, though. Um, kapow. Uh, kapow. There you go. And then we, we kapow that. What happens? We compel that. Bang. That's how you wire up a, um... That's how you wire up a big transporter, by the way. Chief O'Brien just liked to fuck around. And then let's throw down a, uh... I'm sorry, I should never say that about someone like Chief O'Brien. Let's throw down a large jet... Damn, I just don't understand how the Brotherhood keep... Keep... Uh, how they haven't conquered everything yet. I just don't get it. I keep getting all these setbacks. It's insane because they're just so good and powerful. Is that it? Is it working? Or if I got to wire those directly up to the... What is it? The same power grid? It is on the same power grid. What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, it can't take power from a... Oh, for God's sake. I thought one machine might be able to, like, shoot power over to the other. I guess not. Okay. Uh, here. Sit you there. Bang. How's that? Oh, not enough power. Yes. No, that does make more sense. Yes. Okay. Um... So I was going to say, I think they all share the same power. But yeah, I was going to say you don't have to do that. That looks better, though. I like that. Again, cool set piece. I understand that they were desperate. After the amount of man hours and dev hours they put into the uh, crafting system, they were desperate to make this ship, you know, like a mainstay, like really important. You didn't need to. Uh, hello, Desdemona. Status report. We got activity, Des. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. Okay. It's time you learn about Patriot. Hulk Hogan? Uh, uh, sounds encouraging. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps synths escape to freedom. Dozens of synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name. <laughs> There's a man or woman inside the Institute, works, but we don't know his able name. To get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Uh, okay. Tom's encrypted. I'll just ask. I'll, I'll just. I'll just ask him. everyone. Once he sees I'll just it, ask he'll around. You. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you? This be our is the, the stupidest fucking shit ever. Yeah, how do I infiltrate them? You're going to have to sell them a lie. It's best to stick as close to the truth as possible. And you're going to have to think on your feet. We don't know what's waiting for you. If you make it at all. In what world would a hyper high-tech civilization that have proven that they are bent on bringing, uh, I don't know, order to the chaos, that they are happy just to experiment on the people of the Commonwealth to fulfill their own goals by any means necessary, morals be damned, in what fucking world would teleporting inside them not just have them immediately incinerate you. <sighs> a response would be appreciated. Yeah, uh, sure, okay. You can do this. I believe in you. Planty Mush's Stand on the platform face guard is steaming up tape. from just plug it into the frustration. Any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Up the scan. This is her grand plan. This Teleport inside this incredibly hostile, you know who doesn't make the potentially world-ending organization and in infiltrate them. Oh, hi. I'm uh, I'm Jerry. I'm the new janitor. Fucking, whoa, fucking. Have to cut a few corners with the scan. Did we just, we just hop on there, huh? Okay, I'm ready, Tinker Tom. So stand still. We gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully, we won't miss any. 
There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right, feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what uh, you got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact a patron. Should you not give me on that oh, before man, I stepped on the platform? That, that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on. I feel I like I the it. voice actress wasn't given the right direction on, on that. Just get all the information you can about synth. Because that sounded like she was saying that to Tom. Plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape oh, into she's any quiet. terminal and Patriot will make <laughs> contact. He has to. Got the R up! We got it! Find a way to save <laughs> Nobody else can. Now! Oh. My God. Where, where am I? Ah, oh, this appears to be a pulse phase inverter. Triple tetromino reverse polarity forwards uh, singularity dilithium matrix chamber. Because remember, Planty's got four, uh, 18, 16, 12 intelligence. What's he at? He's at 12 right now because it's like daytime. Allegedly. Ah. A reverse harmonizing console. Was this like storage? Ah. This appears to be the uh, janitorial area. <laughs> Insert it into any console and they will make contact. So really we've got a choice here, haven't we? Ooh. Hello. Ah, uh, hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Oh. Please. Step into the elevator. Okay. Uh, father? Oh my god. Uh, inaccessible. Okay. Push button. Do you want to... Uh, do you want to load into the console first? I feel like it would be hilarious if the Institute didn't have any form of, like, antivirus, unsigned program checks, super high technology capable of, uh, of making... New people. Oh, no loading holotape. Oh, there we are. Um, what do we want to insert? Hold on. Sit here and play Zeta Invaders. <laughs> um, what's the holotape? Wait, wait uh, message to... Uh, no. Uh, shit. What was the name of the holotape called? Quest? Network scanner? Is that it? Quest network? Sc scan the network? I don't think that's right. Like message to... What were they called? The, the Patriot. Think about Patriot. Ah, oh, Gwinnett, Gwinnett Lager Recipe. Oh, Christ. So, okay, I might have to... Loot Detector. I might I might have to uh, try and find out. Give me a second. Well, I mean, there's only two Mart's Quest. One's Marty Bullfinch's Holotape. The other is Network Scanner. Uh, transmitting Tom Key. So much key found. Handshake successful. Uh, message from Tom. The big D demanded a tutorial be included, so here it is. Plugs into any institute terminal and copy the message. Patriot has been sending a short encoded message for years using even a little encryption scheme. It was a bitch and a half to reverse engineer. Patriot's got skill, but I nailed it. Put this whole tape into any institute terminal. It'll deliver a gift wrap message straight to Patriot. But you're going into the belly of beast friend. Don't trust anything. TT out. Initiate network scan. Scan complete. Okay. And then what? Copy encrypted message. Read Patriot's reply. Okay. Read urgent reply. Acknowledge. Meet at advanced systems maintenance room. I don't think I've ever done this before. This is cool. Advanced systems maintenance room. Where is that? Oh. I guess we go... I guess we go down then, huh? Oh. oh. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Okay. Wow. Welcome to the Institute. Whoa. It's beautiful. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, Countless experiments and trials. Wow. 
no. a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. Well, There's too is... much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. Oh my god. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. I but mean... You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Like, Planty is, uh... He's a man of science. He's an intelligent man. Arguably one of the most intelligent men in the Wasteland. Perhaps the most intelligent man in the Wasteland. Not that he has chance to demonstrate too often other than tinkering and building like, you know, a hyper-improved set of power armor with none of the drawbacks and more benefits. <gasps> is that... Is that Planty's son? Is that him right there? Oh my god. Oh! Autosave. Hello. Okay, where were we? Uh, little, little baby. Little baby man. It's his son, isn't it? Sean. Yeah. My, my, my son, Sean. Uh, huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sean, it really is you. Who are you? Yeah, uh, Sean, it's me. I, I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's me. Uh, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Yeah, it'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go oh. away. Oh. Father. Father, help me. He was a baby, There's Plant. He obviously he's not going to recognize you. Oh, he's panicking, though. Look, he's panicking. Uh, who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. <gasps> Hello. Sean. Oh. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Uh, ah! Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. Oh. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. Who, uh, who are you? I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Ah, uh, 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 Father? That's your name? Your, your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son, to Sean. Uh, I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. <gasps> I am your son. Uh, it, it, it's really you. After all this time, look at him. You can tell. Look at his nose. He's got that red nose that Planty has. And you got to bear in mind, Planty's wife was an enormous, muscle-clad lady. And I mean, look at the size of him. Yes. Look at his nose. It's true. In the vault. And his eyes as well. You had no concept of the passage of time. They've all got those scary green eyes. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am, 
Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Ah, uh, but, 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 but why? Why take a child? Why take... Look at the smile on his face. What the hell? He doesn't seem very upset at all. Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, human, hu I, I think I see where this is going. I mean, he understands. He's, got, he's, he's like the most intelligent man in this building, and that's saying something. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Wow. Sean, it's, it's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Ah. Uh. I've got a fucking question. It is my question, right? Can, someone can explain this to me in the comments. How on earth was Kellogg's house only... Or, or, or did they not investigate Kellogg's house because they, they, they saw him there with a child? I don't understand the whole timeline with... not too overwhelmed. With, with Kellogg, that's all. The recordings of him and the child. Are you telling me those were from 60 years ago? Well, obviously, Kellogg can live forever because he's got the Institute of Immortality Magic. But I don't understand the whole timeline of things. Was that house unoccupied for uh, 60 years? Or was he, or did he just leave? But d at that point in time, hadn't left with the child. And uh, we just didn't have a timeline on that. Following? I don't understand that. I might have to go and look that up and try and try and see what the hell is actually going on there. Uh, so you're in charge of the Institute. I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. <sighs> what do we think? Doesn't matter what they think, it matters what you do. I think Planty, who's been so obsessed with justice, would need them to know what they've done. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? <sighs> uh, your mother, she never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Wow. Yeah, uh, collateral damage? Is that all it is to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. 
For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Um. I feel like none of these things are going to say what I want to say, which is, um, you are insane. <laughs> why, why are they going out there kidnapping people? I understand it's just a means to an end to them, but surely they understand the optics. Again, high intelligence, low wisdom build. I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Now this is... The big moment, isn't it? All along, I've been saying... 10 intelligence, 12 intelligence, 14 intelligence, and other various numbers that are very high ascribed to as intelligence. I mean, not that high in the grand scheme of numbers, but that high on a scale of 1 to 10. 12 is very high on the scale of 1 to 10. I hope you're not so, too overwhelmed. This is the key question. Which is greater, his sense of justice, or maybe he can reconcile that with the fact that he is now face to face with his son, or... His sense of scientific curiosity, which again, he might be able to reconcile uh, that sense of justice with. Uh, are you following? It's really hard, isn't it? Yeah, you want me to stay here in the Institute? Yes, that is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Ah. Uh, how, how can you say that? How can you be so dismissed? Your institute's done some horrible things, finally. Your institute has done some horrible things. Yes, well. The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? This railroad. Willing to sacrifice humans for the sake of synths. Think about that for a moment. Would you kill your fellow man to save a Nuka Cola machine? They have completely disconnected from reality. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really you do think they'd have better dental care in the institute. At heart. Will you take that chance? You can grow human beings from a vat, yet this guy has a head full of rotten teeth. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. They want Plansy because they know he was the greatest scientific mind of an age. They know it. They saw his special sheet when he came down in that elevator, and they were like, my god, 12 to 14 intelligence, depending on the time of day? That's the highest intelligence down here. Given that Dr. Lee hasn't collected... Oh, spoilers, Dr. Lee hasn't picked up the uh, intelligence bobblehead yet. They can't believe it. It's a hard choice. I mean, I think at the very... I think we should say yes, because then, at the very worst... I, I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. I mean, scoping the place out... Wow, he is enormous. Scoping the place out and getting some... 
some information, some knowledge, I think is the planty mush play. I think that is the right maneuver, the right way to go about things. Microphone, activate. Wow, there's a lovely, lovely house you got here. Is this all his house? This is lovely. What is this? Is that is like a bio bed? Your PC that only you can see with your microscopes? Cigarettes and, and bourbon? That doesn't seem very scientific. What is this? Looking around for, you know, like 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 stuff and things. You know, like implants and... You can a password, eh? Are you telling me one of the most intelligent men in the way and the director of the Institute keeps his password written down? It's one of the best forms of security, presuming that, you know, no one's in your house snooping around your cupboards. At which point it becomes the worst form of security. <laughs> this is... The, the problem is, this guy, Planty, just... He's such a scientifically minded it's an man. It's honor to have you here, sir. Thank you. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Ah. Uh, it's one of those telekinetic synths. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. And now they immediately make them comically Spend evil. Spend enough time here, and you'll be sick to death of the word synth. I certainly am. <sighs> Hi, mister. Hello, Alice Thompson. Wow. It's a lovely place, but Planty is such a nice guy. And the fact that they treat synths like shit when he's got really nice synth friends is probably quite off-putting. I think it would leave a horrible taste in his mouth. I think it probably is leaving a horrible taste in his mouth, right? Just don't know how to... Just don't know how to pass it. Don't know how to accept this. It's really bizarre. I think the first thing we've got to do Just is... Just as you gave life to father, he gave life to many of us. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. status. All functions normal. Damn, this is what happens if you bust a nut. Look at this. Next thing you know, you got an army of your robot descendants taking over the planet. Hello. We are honored to welcome you here. Does that mean if you uh, decide to marriage Curie? You know what? Let's not worry about that. You forget I even brought that up. That purge that last sentence. Is that Corsa? Hello. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Thank you. Been murdering your own children this entire time. Every Gen 3 synth we've killed, which I think, to be fair, is only, like, one. Probably that Corsa. Ooh, what is that out there? Uh... Ah! Oh, standing the awesome tales. Have dog will travel. Your canine companion takes 10% le less damage. 10% less of unkillable is, uh, still unkillable. I don't think the Institute have seen power armor technology like Planty, so they're already probably very on board. They're probably already very, very interested. Not to mention he's built a cold fusion powered rifle. Is it true food supplement 77 oh. has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the bioscience division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that <laughs> supplement is no longer... Well, we'll let them argue. Um, who are we going to see first? We've got to go see that. That That's... Yeah, Patriot. That's correct. Let's go have a chat with them first, then, and see what we've got going on. Oh, I guess it's not in here, then. My bad. Whoops. Turns out it was all separate sectors. Uh, 360, walk away. Speak to them first. I think we need to get an idea of what the Institute is really about. And maybe... Maybe they are onto something. Clearly, they're building something lovely down here. It's nicer than anything plants he's ever seen. Uh, oh, he's in here instead in the storage area, I think they said. Uh, oh, hello. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. Liam How did Bennett. you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, Ooh. the encryption algorithm. Yeah. Uh, um, who are you? I'm Liam Binet. My father runs Synth Development, and everyone knows who you are. Uh, I'm not sure I should trust you. You're worried about me? If the SRB cracked Trinity, man, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? Yeah, uh, the railroad sent me to look for... S oh. Uh, 
Uh, what do you think? At the very least, I'm hoping it means you won't turn me in. But you really are a friend, aren't you? Uh, is that what it said? The, the, the railroad didn't bother telling me. What? The railroad? As in the railroad? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. Uh, are we going to trust him? I feel like we should have had a code word or some sort of confirmation or something. Yeah, uh, why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us, except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape so they can have a better life. Now, how did you help the synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? Evidently. The SRB is the exception. And, unfortunately, they control which synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from, let's say, bioscience can get a hand-picked synth on surface detail. And it turns out the railroad was waiting for them. Wow. Uh, you've saved a lot of synths. So much to take in. But, wait. With you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Ah. Uh, okay. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on Should we grab this outfit? But that can't be right. Then we'll hey, take this. You look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. <laughs> I think we picked up too much stuff. We'll, we'll swap sure it. We ever make we'll swap an outfit for an outfit, huh? How about that? They can have, um... Oh, God, we picked up a lot of legendaries, didn't we? Uh, I'll swap it for a lovely... Uh, plasma rifle. And, uh, yeah, that'll do. There you go. A decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we oh, look, they've got loads of stuff that I can steal. You know? Ooh. So, uh, what I think we'll do is I will leave it up to you in the comment section. I'm, I want some debates. I want some arguments here. I want to be convinced one way or the other. I want a nice impassioned speech about whether Plancy would... When we get to the atrium, follow my lead. Follow the path of science and his curiosity and who he is at his core. Or whether he would follow the path of the person that he's been forced to become out here in the wasteland. Whether he would... Whether he would change his... Uh, you know, change his stance from justice to... C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require Hard something? science, you it's know? It's okay, C-1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Uh... Uh, uh, uh trust is a two-way street. Excuse me. I must focus on my duties. He's not from here. He's been helping our synths escape on the surface. It's safe. If you insist we speak in front of him, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, you want? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more Something secure. does make more synths. <laughs> I know that's a very black and white way of looking at things, isn't it? Oh. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Uh, uh, yeah, it depends on what you need. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. 
and that's nowhere to be found. Oh, it's going to send us to CIT rooms. But if you could get me a pre-war admin go. password from the surface, I could log right in. I wonder why there was nothing there. Uh, your plan makes me nervous. Z1 and I have been working on elements of this for years. The doors are the only thing stopping us. But finding the password is going to be tricky. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Now, I have never done an institute ending in this game. I think if I had to choose, I think the institute seems like something... It seems like something that I could get behind, uh, purely out of my own personal curiosity, but also because playing such a science-forward character and then coming to a place like this, if as long as we stick to his morals and don't do anything, uh, we can work for the Institute and not do anything that, that compromises Planty's personal morals and maybe even change it for the good, who knows? Or do we stick to his morals hard and potentially stop the institute when it might end up doing more harm overall have we I, I mean we've always kind of been to some extent ends justifying the means right turning raiders to a fine paste with the shotgun of justice to save a few lives you know killing a, a lot of raiders to save the handful of two farmers or helping scavengers you remember it's uh, it, it's it's a it's a hard thing to uh, quantify so that's why i'm open to suggestions and arguments and debate planty is going to sit here and soak it all in he has a lot to offer the institute they have a lot to offer him but it's a hard one it's, it's very hard oh i like the uh, double helix elevator i've noticed that before oh it's not really double helix oh no it is it's kind of when you look at it from the right angle thank you for joining me today i'm excited to see what you have to say we'll be back tomorrow i guess to make a decision one way or the other we, we won't just immediately be like, yeah, I love the Institute, like, and jump in both feet first, and they're like, yeah, fuck the synths or anything like that. We would never do that. It would still have to be a slow descent into one way or, you know, doubling down on our morals the other. So let me know. Spooky stuff.